Jake Fisher, Director of Auto Testing here at the Consumer Reports Test Track. All right, so I understand you're a professional driver. You've been doing this over 19 years, and I was wondering if you can teach me a couple of tips on how to be a pro driver. Yeah, absolutely. When it comes to safety, look, cars are getting safer all the time, but if you can improve your driving skill, that could actually save your life. All right, let's do this. All right. We're driving on a 327 acre closed course test track designed to push cars to their limits. This is gonna be fun. I don't think you're gonna catch any problems with me whatsoever. Perfect driver. First yeah. of all, where are your hands? Oh no, already? So what do you think is right? This one, like right. this. Both hands on the steering wheel. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Kind of the, the nine and three are a little bit higher than right. that. You're going to be more able to deal with any emergency that arrives. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like I need to get a few of the basics down first before we can start speeding up. All right, so what's next? Do a U turn and come back the other way. So here's how I'm going to do this. Okay, so. That's hand over hand. That's what a lot of people do. Okay. Now, this time, what you're going to do is you're going to do shuffle steering. This is a little what more is advanced. Shuffle steering. Shuffle steering is you're actually feeding that steering wheel through your hands, and this way you're always ready. Oh, okay. And full control. Give it a shot. Oh, that was pretty easy. You did pretty well. What about teens? Can they apply any of these tips for themselves? It doesn't matter how old you are. If you're a new driver, these are really great tips. If you're an older driver, these are great tips. All of us have room for improvement. Next up, it's time to see how well I use the brakes. I want you to go quick. All right, so quick for you means how many miles an hour? I'm whatever at 50 you, right Whatever now. you feel comfortable. Every car has really good brakes if you use every bit of them. You want that <laughs> pedal all the way to the floor of okay. Now. <sighs> that was excellent. Oh, man. <laughs> When you hit those brakes, we heard ABS engage right away. ABS is when you get to the limit of adhesion and all of a sudden the brakes are pumping on their own to try to keep you there. And that's the difference between hitting something and not. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna take this car to the very limit. Okay. My heart's already beating, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> now we're heading to the skid pad to test out how well I handle the car while in a tight turn something Jake knows all about because he's an experienced race car driver. Skid? Skid pad. Skid pad. A pad that you can skid on. Okay. Don't try this at home, kids. No, not at all. And just okay. drive around this so corner as fast as you can. Woo! So keep on bringing up the speed until we start sliding. Keep going. So what happened there? The car would not stick with me. It kept on going to the right when I was telling it to go to the left. So give it another shot. All right. So I'm gonna tell you a couple tips here. Okay. You wanna anticipate. Always look ahead, look forward. Ah. Look where, where you want the car to go, not where it is right now. Oh, I see. And now you can start to react before the car gets out of hand. Look at that, I'm much closer to the line now. You're close to the line and you're holding it. You're doing a really nice job. I do have to say, my heart's palpitating. <laughs> <laughs> Today on the track has been awesome. I've learned there's some serious science and technique behind driving a car well. With these tips, you can drive like a pro, even if you don't have a pro by your side.